In this week's roundup, cancer found in the first sea lions, humpback whales gather in huge numbers, two primate species band together, and a rock python with an incredibly full belly. Starting off in the US, where a necropsy revealed the first case of carcinoma cancer in a stellar sea lion. Nearly a quarter of the closely related California sea lions that wash up along the Pacific coast are affected by the disease, so information gained from this necropsy could be helpful in mapping its spread. In more cancer-related news, scientists have successfully used immunotherapy to shrink and eliminate golf ball-sized tumors in Tasmanian devils. More than 80% of the Tasmanian devil population has been wiped out by the transmissible cancer known as the devil facial tumor disease. The results of the treatment show that a vaccine for the disease could be feasible, which is great news for the struggling species. Off to the coast of South Africa, where humpback whales are gathering in huge numbers, and nobody seems to know why. Groups of 10 to 20 are common, but the marine mammals have recently been gathering in groups of up to 200. Stranger still, humpback whales typically cruise the cold waters of Antarctica at this time of year. Staying in the water, with great white shark numbers on the rise in Cape Cod. For two years running, the number of great white sharks migrating to the area has increased. Just 80 were spotted in 2014, and last year, that number rose to 147. Warm water and an abundant prey make this an ideal stopover for the sharks, who are a critical part of a healthy ecosystem. Over to the Galapagos, where a new study sheds new light on the island's penguins. Galapagos penguins are now the second penguin species, after Gen 2 penguins, to be observed feeding their offspring after they leave the nest. When food is bountiful, parent penguins give in to the bacon of their adult children and send a meal or two their way. And a new study just might give you a reason to be thankful for those spiders in the house. Our eight-legged roommates eat 400 to 800 million metric tons of prey per year, with insects and springtails composing more than 90% of that bulk. With more than 45,000 species, spiders impact your ecosystem more than you might have thought. Onto the Sabangao Forest of central Kalimantan in Borneo, where two primate species band together against a common foe. Researchers observed white-bearded gibbons and maroon langur monkeys join forces to harass a Sunda-clouded leopard, who may have been responsible for the disappearance of an infant gibbon. The researchers say this rarely seen show of cooperation is a sighting for the books. Over to Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve with this incredible first ever footage of a massive rock python swallowing a whole hyena. These massive snakes have been known to dine on other predators, but a meal of this size is unheard of. Staying with hyenas, this time in South Africa's Kruger National Park, where a pack of them stole not one, but two kills from wild dogs. First stealing a tasty lichwi, the unsatisfied hyenas went on to snag an impala dinner as well. We're rounding off with this amazing nest cam footage of bald eagles welcoming their new chick to the world. Biologists were concerned that the first egg might not hatch, but the eaglet is looking great. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Let us know what you think in the comments below. 